Well, despite some fog out there this morning, it's a pretty nice view over the city of Providence. Let's take you out to that right now. And you can see the Providence River and Narragansett Bay fairly clearly. We do have some patchy dense fog in spots, especially down towards the westerly area and into southern Bristol County, New Bedford, seeing some very dense fog in the area earlier this morning. 36 is our temperature in Providence. Winds are out of the southwest at 7 miles an hour, and even though a lot of us don't really love the wind, it actually helps us out this morning, and it's not even that breezy, but just enough of a breeze to push a lot of the fog and the low clouds away by the time we get into the late morning and early afternoon. So a much faster warm-up than yesterday. I mean, this 47 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning, that, that may be a little bit overdone, but I do agree with the ge this general trend where we see mid-60s by the afternoon. By 1 o'clock, we're at 60. It's not until, say, 2, 3, maybe 3.30 where we hit our high temperatures of the day of around 66, 67 degrees in inland areas. We mentioned the dense fog. It's still out there in spots Newport down to about a third of a mile right now. Also, the same story in Westerly. New Bedford has improved over the past several hours and not too bad with visibility in Smithfield. In those locations with the patchy dense fog when we have temperatures near or around freezing, sometimes we can see the potential of a little bit of black ice. Basically, we have freezing fog and some of that collects on the surface of the road. So something to keep in mind this morning. Just use caution if you're out driving around early. But hey, another good idea would be to stay inside, grab a cup of coffee and watch the rest of Eyewitness News this morning. We'll be on until 9 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures right now have warmed in New Bedford at 41 degrees. 40 in Newport, still 34. Chilly in Westerly. Not a whole lot in the way of cloud cover right now over southern New England. High pressure continues to slide off to the east. That will send in the winds from the southwest in this direction. And that's more of a land direction today and that will bring in the sunshine and allow temperatures to warm up quicker, especially, or more quickly I should say, especially in areas away from the water. I'm going to fast forward to tomorrow. An interesting situation developed what we have is a backdoor cold front sliding through. This is noontime tomorrow. This is not today. And when we have these set up, obviously a timing location can be very, very tricky. So as you stay tuned to future forecasts, which I hope you do, this line may have to shift around. But I think the general trend for tomorrow will be cooler locations in eastern Massachusetts, perhaps into southeastern Rhode Island and areas west of Providence. We are much warmer in the upper 60s to 70s. And again, these backdoor fronts are very, very tricky. So stay Stay tuned to future forecasts on the situation for tomorrow. For today, though, temperatures in the mid-60s, some upper 60s possible. 66 by 3 in the afternoon, 66 in Rumford, Pawtucket gets up into the mid to upper 60s as well with mostly sunny skies. It's not a terribly windy day, but we could see some breezes between about 10 and 15 miles an hour in the afternoon. A little cooler here over in the East Bay, Riverside 64 degrees and Barrington at 63. South shore temperatures, especially into Newport, upper 50s to 60, so because we have water pretty much surrounding Newport. Even though the winds have a shift in direction today, it'll still be cooler. We will grab some of those uh, cooler ocean-influenced winds in Newport. Same story in Westerly High, around 60 degrees. Coventry, though, we get away from the water. We get up to 67. Northern Rhode Island temperatures in the mid, maybe a few upper 60s. 60, 68 in Burville, 67 Johnson, Cumberland, 67 degrees. And for eastern Massachusetts, and I keep meaning to uh, bump or knock this uh, New Bedford temperature up to around 65 or 66 degrees. I think a fairly mild afternoon in New Bedford. Also in Plymouth, I should raise that to 65 or 66 degrees. But I do agree with what I've put up for Middletown and Little Compton highs there in the upper 50s to 60. So Monday night could see a shower or two. On Tuesday, we're up to 69. The warmest part of the work week, I think, will be Wednesday and Thursday. Keep in mind, though, on those days, a potential cooler coast with highs of the coast only in the upper 50s to 60s. So big temperature differences for the middle of the week, but not a bad way to end the weekend here. Okay, thank you, Pete. Yep. And now for a look at what's happening.